This film will show you what to expect if you are having valve replacement surgery. It includes images of the surgery in progress and shows a live beating heart. My name's Nick, I'm 41 years of age. I'm from Macclesfield in Cheshire and I'm here to have a heart valve replacement. Nicholas, how are oh, you? Hi. I am Mr. Raja Mayer, Pinkateshwaran, consultant cardiac surgeon. I work in Withenshaw Hospital in Manchester. The major problem is the valve narrowing. Yeah. As explained, we've cut out the valve. And Nick has a condition called uh, an aortic stenosis, which is a severe narrowing of the outflow valve. This condition, if not treated, may lead to a severe heart failure. On a daily basis, my symptoms mainly are shortness of breath, uh, get tired quite easy and uh, a tightening of the chest. Your heart valves make sure that blood flows in the right direction through your heart. If the valves are damaged, stiff or narrowed, then your blood doesn't flow properly, which can cause strain on your heart. Heart valve surgery is used to treat leaking or narrowed valves by replacing them if the damaged valve cannot be repaired. Your damaged valve will be removed and a new one put in its place. It will either be mechanical, made from metal and plastic, or tissue, from a human or animal. The new valve will improve the blood flow through your heart. I'm a bit nervous about the operation. Uh, obviously, it is quite serious. We'll just uh, carry on now and get it done. Today, we are going to replace this aortic valve by doing an open heart surgery and um, replace it with a, a mechanical heart valve. Prior to admission, he will have all the blood tests, X-ray, ECG, um, and then he would have seen an anesthetist the night before. And then in the evening, he would have had a full shave on his chest. Just take a nice few uh, deep breaths. And you're gonna drift off to sleep. Normally, it would take around 45 minutes uh, for an anesthesia time. This usually involves getting some uh, monitoring lines in his neck and also in his arm to monitor pressures. Also an echocardiogram probe uh, to look at the valve, also the function of the heart. And then we start the operation. Usually it would take around three and a half hours time. The first step is to get access to the heart. And then once we expose the sternum, we cut through the bone, okay. and then we get access to the heart. Now we should be able to see the heart. We have to establish bypass, because we have to make sure the heart work is done by a machine. Once it is done, I have to stop the heart so that I can actually cut open the aorta to access the valve. The heart stopped now, you can see here. Put some blood through now. The valve is exposed, so I'm going to have to cut it out now, okay? Then I have to size the correct size of the valve to stitch in. Once that is done, I have to close the chamber before restarting it. There you are, you can see the ECG. It, uh, it's almost a regular rhythm now. And then I have to come off the bypass machine and close the chest. That's all bypass. Match the vent. Once the operation finished, we close his chest using stainless steel wires. They don't need to be taken out. Usually he will spend uh, one full day in intensive care after a valve replacement. And the following day he will spend uh, in a high dependency unit. The risks are very small, considering the magnitude of the operation. The benefits definitely far outweigh the risks involved with the operation. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Yourself? Once okay. they are well for two days, most of the line in their neck and catheter, all of them come out and he goes to the ward. By five days' time, uh, I would expect him to be up and about and should be ready to go home. So any pain anywhere? Yeah, just a bit tender. Right. Everyone gets a cardiac rehab exercise when they get discharged. We advise for the first six weeks not to do any strenuous exercise to avoid disrupting the wound. And by the end of three months, if the wound is all well healed, they should be free to do anything they want.
It's doing well. I think he'll have some pain because it's only second day after the operation, but that'll get better in the next few days. And by tomorrow, by th when all the tubes and pipes are removed, he'll feel even better. Had the operation Tuesday morning, and it's now Friday morning. Yeah, a bit of a day when I first came round, but I don't feel too bad today. There is obviously pain in the chest area. Hopefully it should make a vast difference. Been able to go on walks without feeling out of breath, been able to simple things like run up and down stairs should uh, you know, just have a dramatic you know, influence on their day-to-day -day life. Coronary heart disease is still the single biggest killer in the UK, but for over 50 years, we've tirelessly pioneered research that has helped transform the lives of people living with heart and circulatory conditions. Join our fight for every heartbeat in the UK. Every pound raised, every minute of your time and every donation to our shops will help make a difference. <laughs>